hi my friends welcome back in this tutorial i'm going to teach you the fastest way to detect the short circuit if you want to fix shorted motherboards in minutes stay tuned this video is for you so let's get started but please don't forget to subscribe like share and for anyone who want to accelerate learning i can be your mentor all links in the description so guys in this video i'm going to teach you how to detect the short circuit in any motherboard this is basically the only video you need to fix any short circuit in any motherboard without the voltage injector without the thermal camera so let's get started so please guys when you get a shorted motherboard what you have to put in your mind is coil do you see we have coils or inductors these coils and inductors are the key to detect any short circuit just in seconds of course you can find also coils like this one like this one this is smd coils here also we have pl as you can see so we're gonna use these coils to detect short circuit how i show you how so guys you need just the multimeter and choose the continuity option okay in the multimeter choose the continuity option let's begin with this motherboard guys so I'm going to show you some motherboards, no shorted motherboards and shorted motherboards in order to understand 100%. So there is it. After selecting the continuity option in the multimeter, let's put the black probe in the ground. Everywhere in the ground, guys. For beginner, we have ground everywhere in the motherboard, as you can see. So everywhere, guys, we have ground. Okay, for beginner. So the black probe in the ground let's begin from here and check the coils here we have reading good good this one good this one here for the run nice this one over here we have 11 this is not a short guys 11 is not a short when the inductor belong to the cp circuit or pch circuit okay so let's check if we have another coil that's it you can even test the tantalum capacitor the same already we have 11 11 guys 11 is normal when you measure or you check inductors and ceramic capacitors near to cpu so this board is not shorted 100 percent let's see another board so let's check this board guys so always the black probe in the ground let's put the black probe in the ground let's get started this inductor here no continuity this one good this one good here we have nine this one also we have nine why the cpu this is the chance for the cpu that's why we have here low resistance low resistance this is not a short let's check this one also we have ready let's go to the ram but we have the run. this one good this one good this board is not short guys let's check this board and then go to a shorted board and i will show you a shorted board so let's begin with this one for example so the black probe in the ground let's begin with this inductor belong to ram circuit good this one here we have 15 why because here we have the ich okay good so all is good we don't have shorts in this board so guys i will show you i will prove to you before checking a shorted board or even two shorted boards i will show you why we have this low resistance i will prove to you so my friends i will use this board to prove to you why exactly the coils near the cpu any cpu are bp like this we have nine we have here nine so 
this is basically an old motherboard but the same working principle for all boards of course i know that there is some boards where we have an integrated cpu but here i want i want to teach you and to prove to you that this is not a short guys so the black probe is in the ground okay and the red probe i will put it in the inductor and then open the cpu okay let's get started open the cpu you see guys the shorts is gone why because i open the cpu okay even if the cpu is inserted but it's not closed look once i close the cpu you see guys i get my high reading low reading high reading low reading do you see means mine is not a short when you check inductors near the cpu or the pc hedge guys so please pay attention to this trick okay open close open close open close open close means guys nine in the multimeter in this inductors is not a short this is the resistance for this processor once you open the processor like this okay so the short is gone once you insert the processor and then close it to the board we get nine means it's not a short so please pay attention the low resistance in the inductor the low reading in the inductors near the cpu the pch the integrated cpu is not a short sometimes guys for some cpus you can even find as you can see six like this or seven so guys we have the example a shorted board we have basically the cpu this is the back of the cpu so if i put the black probe in the ground like this and check the 10 telem capacitors in the back of the cpu let's check do you see we have one this one also we have one all ceramic capacitors do you see zero if even i check the ceramic capacitors one this one one do you see guys this is the real short in this board we have a real short circuit but guys when you find like this reading you see 10 term capacitor we have 12 all 10 term capacitor you see guys we have five five the serum capacitors you see five this is good this is not a short so guys i hope that you understand and you can differentiate right now between short circuits and non-short circuits okay guys so please always use the coils or even capacitors to detect short circuit but when you deal with inductors or coils and even capacitors near the cpu or the pch or all chipsets it's normal to get nine five in the multimeter so guys i hope that you understand please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more upcoming videos and for anyone who want to accelerate learning don't hesitate to join me in my patreon page i can be your mentor and assist you one on one all links in the description and of course for anyone who want more unique content about troubleshooting short circuits no power motherboards issues deed boards etc you can find also in the description the link for my website you are very welcome thank you very much and see you in the next video